Hello YouTube, this is my first video where I've actually spoken and uh, this one is not about uh, any kind of gameplay, video game uh, playthrough or anything like that. This one is actually about uh, game development. And I just wanted to show you uh, my project uh, that I'm working on currently. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a game per se right now. Uh, it might be more of a kind of an engine or something like that. Right now I'm using uh, a mix between PHP and JavaScript. However, I think most of it could actually just be pure JavaScript. Uh, uh, using using things like uh, Canvas uh, with HTML5 and stuff like that, but right now I'm actually just using uh, jQuery uh, and just writing just normal uh, XHTML output uh, just because I don't have much experience uh, with Canvas as of yet. Actually this whole thing was was intended just to be like a kind of a hobby project for me to learn JavaScript and it kind of uh, grew into you know its, a, its own project and right now if you if you look on the right here we kind of have a map or terrain that's generated and this is actually generated using uh, PHP uh, but like I said it, it probably could be converted over to JavaScript easily enough uh, there's no re reason, real reason why it needs to be PHP other than maybe you want it all generated server side or something like that but so everything you see here is, is generated dynamically over on the left here you have kind of your viewport uh, and this is kind of where the interactive part is again this this type of engine or whatever you want to call it would be more suited towards like uh, grid based RPGs old school retro RPGs or even uh, roguelikes actually and that's kind of where I'm thinking I'm taking it kind of making a roguelike type game with uh, uh, some new new kind of things going on. So as you can see there's not much, much in terms of art as you get it. It's basically just uh, colors representing <laughs> what things should be. Over here we have rocks, water, trees, dirt, gravel, that kind of stuff. And there's even some sand I guess. Again, all this is, is generated dynamically, and I'll show you a little bit more about that. And first what I want to show you is, is some of the things that I have done so far. Right now, obviously, I have some of the basic movement done in interactivity. Um, you can click here or move around uh, with, your, with your keys, actually. Um, there's just actually no animation as you can tell. Actually I stumbled upon something else that I've been working on too which is AI. So this is kind of like a rudimentary or uh, really basic AI. It's kind of like a little NPC that kind of wanders around. And as you can see it's, it works very much like a roguelike game was would, uh, would uh, kind of move. So each move you make it has a chance of moving. Uh, if it was a monster it would probably come running after me that kind of thing. The other thing that I've been working on is a uh, particle system and resource system. So as you can see here I'm kind of uh, cutting down uh, trees. If you see that red thing again like that monster it's kind of just a placeholder. I'm using red as kind of like a placeholder for things right now. So you would be getting you know logs or something in this case. And again, you can do this with uh, rocks as well, currently. And so, I guess the engine is, is made to detect certain tiles. So if I tried to walk on water, I actually wouldn't be able to. If go all the way down to the bottom. And right now, if you don't know where I am on the map, I'm like in this area. I just kind of spotted myself. So you can see down here, this is kind of like blackness, and I guess eventually what I would like to happen is it would keep generating uh, terrain as you go, so there would be no need to generate a million tiles right off the bat, but as you go, it would kind of make more and more of the map. So 
just going to try to build a little cavern or something. But so as you can see, like right now, currently the rock is stronger than than the trees. So there's kind of a strength involved in certain things. So I'm gonna show you some of the the varying terrains that I have kind of uh, in my algorithm currently. So here we have kind of like more like a, a tundra type environment, so very uh, dirty, sandy, forested area with not a lot of kind of mountainous regions, although there is like a couple, you know, rock piles or whatever you want to call them around. A couple little water areas too. Uh, here we have a swamp area. And so I guess like the, the, the swamp part would kind of be like this uh, darker kind of gray or green area. It's kind of like the water in, in uh, grass and forest kind of intermix with it. Here's a more, another generic one. As you can see, it, it does it does some things like uh, the streams, that kind of thing. Another, this one that kind of put me in a bad spot here. <laughs> Here's a really big lake type environment. And it's quite varied actually too. Uh, again, it's all random, so I might not even get some really cool ones uh, in this video, but here's one with no water, so variations of themes. This one is kind of like the start of a, a desert area. So you can see it's kind of tr transitioning from a grassland into a desert. So there is kind of transitions. again. Anyways, you get the gist of that. Um, I guess my plans for this would ultimately to maybe create some type of uh, roguelike game. Normally roguelike games take place in caverns and dungeons and that kind of thing. This one's more of an overworld or you know, on top of the ground, but I mean, this the algorithm is easy enough to change to kind of uh, incorporate those environments as well. But there's also the inclusion of um, resources and stuff, which is typically found in in roguelike games. So it might be a cool innovation, I guess. Or it could just be, you know, a normal uh, Final Fantasy esque retro RPG. Haven't really decided. Right now I'm just kind of working on just that, that framework that I was talking about or that I was interested in. So yeah, if you have any uh, questions, comments, um, want to tell me I suck and I'm a noob, uh, you can leave those uh, comments down below. Thanks.